It was extremely unusual, Mr. Ipkiss. Barging in without an appointment. Look, you're the expert on masks, right? Well, I have an emergency. Uh, all right, all right, calm down, calm down, Mr. Ipkiss. Okay, focus, focus, breathe, breathe. Okay, all right. Okay, now this woman you were telling me about the other day, I still don't see what the problem is. I have a date with the girl of my dreams. <sighs> Only she doesn't know it's me. It's this thing. Oh, interesting. Looks like uh, 10th or 11th century Scandinavian. Where, where did you get this? I found it. No, 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 it, it found me. I'm not sure, I don't know, it, it, it just, it's ruining my life. So, you think that this changes you into another person? Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you, and it's making me a lunatic! Uh, calm down, calm down, Mr. Epius, calm down. This is nothing more than an obsessional delusion. This mask is just, uh, it's just wood and string. Your book said masks. My book uses masks as a metaphor for the masks that we use every day to hide our complex personalities, to, uh, to, to suppress the id, to protect our innermost desires, passions, feelings. This one works in reverse. <sighs> Mr. Epkiss, you, you need to be willing to work with me on this delusion, or we're not going to be able delusion? to Delusion? It's not a delusion. All right, I'll prove it to you but I take no responsibility whatsoever for the consequences. There is no such thing as a magical mask. Last chance to hide all your sharp objects. Go ahead, I'm not afraid. Expecting something else? Uh, Mr. Ipkiss, the mask is just a reflection. The reflection of the inner you. It worked the night before and the night after that, and it, maybe it only works at night. Where'd you say this thing was from? Scandinavia. Hmm. Looks kind of like Loki, the uh, Norse god of mischief. <laughs> you know, they say that Odin banished him from Valhalla for making too much mischief. Kicked him out forever. <laughs> Maybe he banished him into the mask. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Epkiss, we're, we're out of time. What about my date? Your date? Yes! You know, Tina, the park tonight? What do I do? Do I go as myself or as the mask? M Mr. Epkiss, haven't you been listening to anything that I've been telling you? Go as yourself and as the mask. Because the two of you are one and the same beautiful person. Oh, okay. Please leave your HMO card on the desk on your way out.